name is Green Hassan! Hello and welcome back to my Polish campaign. As you can see in the previous episode I managed to make a personal union with Denmark and Sweden thanks to that. So yeah, now my amount of personal unions is a uh, great. It's one, two, three, four, five personal unions and at the moment I'm fighting for the next one with the British Empire. And that's not the end of the fun because Look at, look at that. Hungarian king has 40 years without an heir and Portugal king is 79 years old. So the Portugal throne is practically free to be taken. So I'm going to take a marriage with them. And I'm sure I will take that throne. What is more, uh, I think we might try the same thing with Hungary. So it's a huge chance to get both of the thrones. Uh, we should take it. Of course, I'm now uh, 11 on 6 diplomatic relations, but that's not that bad uh, because uh, I'm also repaying the imperial authority. It's just 6 heretic princes. In a second, I will declare one war on 3 of them. So, when it will be just 3 heretic princes in the HRE, I will just pass the next reform. You can see that I have a plenty of provinces to be added to the empire over here so you use that all right and now yeah let's end the war with against great britain same as i will declare war on Würzburg in a second as i said uh, you have to fight the heretics what is more you can see that the brits has ov almost 50,000 of army over here so i just get more Oh, it's just a close one. I just get uh, more, more of what? More for mercenaries, of course. Okay, let's conquest Wolfsburg over here. My vassals so, should make most of the job. In the meantime, I will go over here with my mercenaries. Crimea separatists, not even close. Okay. I, when I take West Marsh, I will go straight. Okay, they might attack me over here. So let's maybe stop making any more of them. I will go straight to London and try to fight this 28,000 stack. Uh, the North stack should be blocked. They shouldn't be able to go through these two forts because this, this province is a fort as well. Okay, it should end now. 71%. Really? If they take uh, London, I will be really, really, really angry. Let's hope they will not do that. Okay, okay. I have four, uh, four artillery and uh, leader with five siege, and I cannot take a level two fort with just five hundred garrison. That's sick. All right, now we've taken it. And they still are able to go through this province. Okay, that's that's really sick. Okay, let's look, recruit more mercenaries. Three over here and three over here. Just to be sure that we will have an enough power to fight them. Uh, and they, they're even going over here. And these are hills, so just, let's just defeat them. Uh, yeah, it should be... Wow, they run away. 27th. 27th of case, of course they run away. Let's go to London then. Maybe I will be on time. And let's stop recruiting these uh, mercenaries because they might try to attack it. We might take new diplomatic technology. Administrative even. Let's take it. Finally 11th. So new manufacturers for us. Okay, this stack might be too, too early in London. Uh, what about Würzburg? It's going all right. Oh, some military power. That's great. Uh, and let's screw them in London. Yeah, easy peasy. You can see my morals. It's 5.2, while the Brits uh, have 3.6. So yeah, it was a really easy battle. 
Now we might we might split on a half this stack and let's occupy a few provinces over here. Okay, we've got Wurzburg now. Where else I might go? I might go to Stade. So let's do it. We might take of course diplomatic technology. Oh no, I should go over here. Yeah, because they, they, this fort has just 500 garrison and they might take it in any second. So let's try to prevent it. Let's firstly go over here. Okay, they are staying over here with a 50,000 stack. It might be too much. Okay, I will take a risk. Let's do it. Let's see if the wing hussars are strong enough. Okay. See the difference of Moras at the start? That's because the uh, running away stack uh, didn't uh, regain its full morals. Thanks to that, yeah, we are winning that, but we have a lot of losers. How close are we to pissing them out? Getting closer. Okay, so let's go after this one stack. Let's hope. Yeah, we go, we will just follow them and I'm hoping to make a stack wipe. Okay, Papa influence of stability. I don't care about the reform desire, we have three runs uh, already, so let's just, just take the stability. Okay, they are running over here. Okay, this might be a chance for a stack wipe. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, they, they, they have too high morals to be stack wiped. Yeah. Oh, I think the Portugal now has a Jagiel on the throne. No, they don't. <laughs> the queen uh, on, on the age of 80 just gained an heir. So yeah, we might just break the royal ties now. Because we don't need that anymore. Yeah, so now we might just wait for the Hungarian throne and yeah, let's take it okay now we, I'll split on a half this army and we'll build more mercenaries because yeah we are, we are starting to run out of men over here on the islands who else is in that war? Verdun and Palatinate okay Stadeist Okay, so I might try to piece out Verden and force region. So let's go get these two provinces. Alright, let's build more mercenaries. You can see that the wind hussars are staying over here. My powerful army. Alright. And we of course go over here with this stack. Let's build even more. One, two, three, three, and three. Okay, and this amount should be enough, I think. Let's go over here. Yeah, let's just occupy the main part of Great Britain. I mean, the England. Okay, let's go over here and here. And you go here. And here, and here. I just hope they will not take that fort that fast. Uh, if they do, I will just go and go after them. And I will kill them easily. We now have just to get more war score over here from provinces. So let's go to Hampshire, Dorset, Somerset and Devon. Yeah, it should be enough. 67%. Yeah, I hope they will not they take that fort uh, so fast. So we'll be able to piece them out because before they manage to do that. How is it now? 103. Hmm. Okay, let's hope that the fort will be alive after this tick. Let's see, yeah, it's still alive. So let's wait for occupying these provinces. So we now have mm, not enough war score. So let's blop 
the whole army and we can fight them in this province. Alright, you go here and you go here. Maybe now I'm thinking it's 107 against 117. Okay. They have a disease outbreak over here, so that's a chance for us. In the meantime, the army over his ear is, I think, going after mine little stacks of mercenaries. And they are coming back to help uh, itself, but they shouldn't be on time, yes. So I occupy Cornwall and I will go just dismantle these mercenaries. Let's wait a second. We can get some papal influence. Okay, can destroy this army, go after this one, and we are really close to piece them out. And also we should end this religious war, little religious war. Uh, let's take more money, they are not willing to take, give me uh, a lot, so let's force religion on them, force religion on Palatinate. With some money and war reparations. And finally, force religion on Würzburg. Okay. Three less heretic princes in the empire. Okay, now we might unite this army. What about Hungary? And they still have disputed, disputed, disputed her succession, I'm sorry. Uh, and we are going to end this finally, I think. Yes, yeah. I think I don't even have to fight them, but maybe I will catch this little thousand stack. Uh, what is that? All of territory frontier. The, uh, they would not accept that, so I don't care. But what about Empire now? Yes, just four headache princes. Uh, but Augsburg doesn't like me anymore. Same as Palatinate. Okay. No, Palatinat will start uh, voting for me in a second. We can improve relations with Augsburg in the meantime. Yeah, so we are back in game. I will in a second add uh, provinces to the empire. So, yeah, that's great. After that I should be able to take a new reform. Have enough war score to piss out Great Britain, so let's do this. Yeah, that's great. Personal union, one more. Let's look at the player's map mode. Ah, it looks so great, guys. Uh, great powers, over 2000 power points over here. Uh, so now, let's destroy all these mercenaries. I don't need them anymore, as I'm on the full amount of manpower. But what about Liberty Desire? Okay, we just need to improve relations with Great Britain. And we do that in a month. In the meantime, we can get our fleet over here and transport these, uh, these troops. So yeah, everything is as planned. Hungary is no longer great power. Why is that? Oh, okay, they now are a great power because Great Britain is not anymore a great power. Okay, uh, now I will add a few provinces uh, to the empire, everything that I'm able to add. Let's make internal peace in the HRE. I cannot add that because it's not Catholic, but you, it will be Catholic in some time. Just needs to make it to convert it. Okay, what else I might add? Nothing at the moment. You can see that the Platinate has three votes now, so we should somehow improve our relations with Augsburg. It should be easy, we can influence the nation. Yes, we can. This is minus 26. We can send a gift for them in a second, and it should be enough. Trebizond is over here in Crimea, that's interesting. Uh, 5th September, I should be able to send them a gift. Ok, 
Okay, that's enough. Yes, and now I have back four votes, and I'm sure about about my empire. So the missionary will be working over here, so I don't have to take care of that. Uh, this stack is over here. I can of course retake the stack from Great Britain. So let's do this and let's take it to Europe. Or no, I will take it to Byzantium over here. And I will attack uh, Ottomans in a second. Yes, my plan is to of course repair this border gore. But first I will attack Ottomans and then I will attack Great Horde which is allied to Karaman. So everything is going as planned. Uh, okay, Hungary might have... Oh, yeah, you can see that they've gained a new heir, so I'm not that lucky. We can break our ties. Of course, the diplomatic ideas are uh, helping us over here because I'm not losing uh, stability from that. So that's just perfect. Rebel surprising in the Crimea. What can I do over here? I can some pop on influence and that's all. We can now take the stability from the Papals. Okay, Kasimov, definitely. Yeah, we need to convert these two provinces to add them to the empire. What else I might add? Mm, let's see. I think nothing. Oh, I can take uh, add the Silistria, Burgas, and Kojali. Kojali. Okay, now we have 40, almost 7. Uh, Imperial authority and the army over here is ready, so we might be surprising. Okay, but anyway, I should be able to convert it because before the repairs come out. So yes, we should improve relations with Great Britain because they are not ro lo loyal to me. Same as uh, yeah, for now they would lose the. Union. Okay. My king is now 59 years old, so that's okay. We can we can start the war against Thomas. Let's get maybe the stack with artillery on the front, and of course uh, let's get the guy with five siege. Okay. Over here we might get this guy. Then. Hmm. Let's take advisor for discipline. And of course, we might turn off most of our forts because the Ottoman army shouldn't be able to go over here. If they start going there, I will just turn them on. For now, let's start. Uh, yeah, let's take conquest. But for myself this time. Because Byzantium is now, I think, big enough. I mean, we will not grow them anymore. Now I just take provinces for 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 myself. Okay, mm, what is the army? They still have some troops. So yeah, let's go. Maybe, guy, yeah, you can go through this trade because it will be blocked in a second. Let's go unblock it. Okay, and our side has oh, 300k of soldiers. Yeah, it's thanks to great amount of vassals in my empire. So yes, uh, the missionary, yes, he just ended. I might add this province to the empire now. And we go, might uh, send uh, a missionary to Lublin. Mm, so these separatists, yeah, they are not longer upcoming. The British Liberty Zara will grow down steadily. Uh, yeah, the British fleet even came here, so I might I might try just destroy the Ottoman fleet. Yeah, it, I didn't even uh, come here on time. Okay, but we might uh, try to camp on this uh, Ottoman fleet. Yeah, I should even destroy them by myself I, as I have 15 heavy ships. Uh, you can see that I am second in the administrative rank and uh, twice first in diplomatic and military rank. So we are also getting a lot of points. I'm thinking that the Ming is still far 
Oh, not that far ahead of me. I'm catching them slowly. Of course, they're first in administrative rank. Oh, uh, yeah, we destroyed the fleet of the Ottoman Empire, of course. But why? Where is the fleet of? Where is the fleet of the Brits? Yeah, they're coming back home. So yeah, just go fuck yourself. I don't need your help. Okay, let's go to Saruhan maybe with that stack. Okay, Ankara is now sieged. So the next stop will be Sinop until we go to Santa blah blah blah. Uh, okay. Yeah, taking Kojali was a great idea because I don't have to go through Georgia to Ottoman Empire now. Can yeah, you can see that my vassals will uh, will occupy everything by themselves. I just I I didn't even need to do anything. Uh, the the fact that I'm doing anything in this war is just to fasten it to end it faster because the boats may take more time to do that. Yeah, so let's make a fast war over here, let's take as much as possible, then we will attack uh, either Moscow or Great Horde, or just both. Moscow is out to Doyev, so yeah. We can go through, no, we cannot, not yet. Let's come over here with this stack. Let's maybe not risk uh, death of the king. Yeah, Zhukievsky Vodyslav, yeah, a great leader. Almost as nice of Zhukievsky, a historical Polish leader that, yeah, he was famous for fighting Turks and Ottoman Empire. So that's a good choice. Okay, and now we have 32% of force cost, so let's go over here. Over here, and you just slowly, and you go over here, my vassals will occupy slowly. Yeah, you can see that even uh, Castile is making carpet siege from. Egypt. Yeah, so that's that's perfect. And good for you. Yeah, you, you can remember that I have to improve my relations with uh, Great Britain to a good amount, to a positive amount, so that I will maintain their personal union, but you can see that it's growing really fast. It's 112 and how it changes monthly. Yes, it's 8 relations per month, so yearly it's almost 100. So yeah, it will be fast. I need administrative uh, power for calling my new provinces in a second. Uh, we already have 32% of war score. Mm, what about possible peace? Yeah, let's just take maybe a tunnel to Asia. As I'm doing a tunnel here, I might also make a tunnel to Karakoyunlo uh, over here. Yes, something like that. Yeah, and of course, bigger. This is uh, over 100 uh, over extension. So, yeah, I'm changing my mind. I will give uh, Byzantium a few provinces to manage the over extension. Yeah, just a few provinces over here. And the rest is for me. So, yes, Ottomans are dying, and I'm so sorry for that. Especially for my Turkish uh, Turkish viewers, they had to do that. Mm, Ottoman Empire has uh, a specification this game that can they are able to come back from the worst shit, the worst position. So you have to just attack them time by time in the early game, so that they, they will not do that. Yeah, we already have 50 imperial authorities, so you'll be able to the reform of internal HRE peace. We just f have three heretics in the empire, so that doesn't matter. Just three. Who cares? Uh, yep. Okay, these two forts should, these three forts should be done in a second. Why we have such a small amount of war score now? I don't know, maybe we've lost a battle somewhere. I think we, or maybe. What about Ajam? Oh, it's pretty big. Yeah, it might stop us from making a bigger peace with Ottomans. What about possible unlawful, unlawful territory? Still tier, but they... Oh, Brace go. Okay. 
uh, where is that mm, PR e is this one it's Catholic are they voting for me uh, they are not so screw you all of the territory for me yeah and Baden regained one province thanks to that you can see that the army of Castile is fighting with Ottomans I might try to do it the same in Mosul I think I will just crush them knowing my potential right now yeah let's just look at these morals and it's a piece of cake right, right now any war in this in this campaign so uh, a lot of you ask me if it will be a, a world conquest uh, basically I didn't plan to make a world conquest but you can see that <laughs> It will be a world conquest because it can be otherwise. I already have 2,000 and uh, 2,200 of uh, development, so yeah. You can turn off all forts. Uh, I, I forgot that uh, they are turning off at the beginning of the war because of this option. And yes, we might start thinking about piecing them out in a second. And this stack are uh, you can go already to Moscow, same as you. Yeah, and I need just now to take this forward. And we already already have uh, minus 39 of relations with Great Britain, so it will be positive in a few months. Just perfect, like the whole campaign. Mm, we might try getting a new advisor from estates. Uh, inflation, uh, it's not a problem, it's, it's just six. Yeah, from clergy. Let's take the one from for unrest. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, my balance is great. We can try to piece it out maybe. Let's just take these three provinces now. And it should be an easy piece. Easy peasy. Yeah, let's maybe see. Maybe some nation gains a new Jagiellon. Uh, no, nothing, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six personal unions. That's just perfect. Alright, let's try to piece them out. They would not accept that because we would have to go to Ajam. So, yeah, I will let just my vassals do the work. And then in the meantime, I might get ready to war against. Maybe, yeah, I think I will start with Great Ord because because I have already one stack close to Karaman. So let's turn, off the f turn on the forts and let's declare the war. Or maybe in a second I will declare the war. Can get back, back speed 4. Maybe I will be able to end this uh, both wars in this one episode. So you can see that a lot of, a lot of things is, are going on. Uh, in this episode, so dynamic. Okay, declare war. Let's go straight to Karaman army. We will try to stack wipe them. Foreign air. Screw you. I want my Krzysztof Jagiellon. Uh, you go over here and you go over here. Yeah, Ottomans are dying. Let's see they dead. It's all just 300 by yeah. Uh, they don't have any army, or at least I don't know where it is. It is over here, but not not a lot of it. Oh, come on, then silly. Don't run away from me. You, can, you cannot run away your destiny. Okay, I will catch them in Kutakia. Or oh, however it was spelled, I, I forgot that. Okay, we can peace out. So let's... Oh... Okay, firstly, let's maybe, first let's maybe give uh, occupation of a few provinces to Byzantium, because I will not be able to cede these provinces during the war. So yes, let's give it to them. Uh, something, maybe without it, it was, yeah, it was something like that. But they would not accept that because I'm giving to <laughs> you can see that this amount of aggressive expansion. Uh, I think it's because I'm giving the provinces to Byzantium. Let's see that. Mm. 
Commonwealth. It was 99. It's the same. So, okay, so I'm giving it anyway to them. Um, no one really, really who matters would join the coalition. I would just not take that mard in. Yeah, and I will piece them out for something like this. Some money. Yeah. Yeah. More. Uh, you can see that there is no more border go right now. But it shouldn't be a problem. Let's catch the army of Karaman now. Okay, they are blocked, flocked, so let's just wait for them to come to me. Or we just go to the capital. I don't care. Uh, let's maybe see the um, great powers. Yeah, we have almost two, two and a half thousand of development now. What else should I take? Uh, maybe the mercenary discipline. Alright. Get speed 4. This fort might be even useful, so you keep it. Let's fastly just end this war and the episode will be just perfect. Because I have to wait until 1569 to piece them out, but that's okay. Saratov is over. So let's now catch this uh, army of Great Ord. It should be an easy win for me. I can see that, yeah, <laughs> I just stack wiped them. <laughs> oh, so let's make some carpet siege. I can even fasten it. Because they don't have any army right now. Yeah, playing on speed 4 is pretty fun. But you can make such a dynamic uh, campaign on this speed. Of course, it's if it's uh, so peaceful situation, so standard situation as in my campaign that nothing can endanger me on these wars, so I don't have to um, make a such wonderful moves to take care of hard battles because there are no hard battles. I'm too too powerful for them. Yeah, okay. Let's go over here. Yeah, I think if I take take the capital of Karaman, then I will stack with this army. I should be able to piece them out for some money. I will not take the terrains because I already have a lot of aggressive expansion even in India. So yeah. But I'm not afraid uh, of any any of any coalition right now because I'm too powerful with my vassals. So it will be piece of cake. Let's go maybe over here with these armies. Okay, let's try to catch them. They're going to move. Oh my God, such a long way. So I'll just piece out them for money. Reparations, money, and and relations with um, Mamluks, Shirvan, or just Mamluks. Right now, we wait until I core all the Ottoman provinces. Foreign air, so let's take care of that. Let's get speed four for a second. We can get some money from Burgers. So first improve uh, the influence, now I can take even a thousand of it. Cossack register for some combat ability. And some military points from Schlachta. Too many military leaders, so let's destroy him. And we can take the military technology, same as the administrative. What about the institution? It's not coming yet, so I'll just take this pro these uh, technologies. Uh, okay, let's take... Maybe it was Hussars? Yeah, new Hussars. Eastern Hussars, so let's take them. Alright, now we are just waiting for the coring of the Ottoman provinces. Uh, I can turn off my forts to earn more money. 
Of course, I will build some manufactories, a lot of them. What about my missions? I can, okay, create Grand Fleet. Let's take that. And Beetle Treasury is done. Mm, build manufactories. Okay, I need 20. So that's not yet, I think. Or maybe I should take that knowledge sharing from Cologne. Maybe someone else would give it to me. Maybe Austria. Economy. Okay. They have to. Okay. I think in the in a second somebody will offer it to me anyway. If one one uh, country already did that. So that's not a problem. You already have 80% of coring. So let's get speed 5 to end it faster. Okay. It's 90%. 93, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and now it's complete. We might think on, on about some piece, but we have to take care of our eastern uh, aggressive expansion because we have a lot over here and yes we also have 48 in france so i think i would not like to have a france and eastern countries in the coalition so let's look mm. timur it's what else interesting over here hungary okay i think i'm um, maybe with that Okay, that's much more countries. So we take something like this for now. It should repair our border go a little bit. Ooh, war reparations and money. Uh, yes, that's great. You can see that we have a lot of aggressive expansion. But it is decreasing almost four per year. So yeah, that's great. We have almost two and a half thousand of development now we cannot uh, i think yeah we have nine against 26 but i think at the beginning of the next episode i should be able to take a new reform so thank you guys very much for watching and see you soon yeah.